Hey everyone, welcome back. So after implementing the listing the user wallets and the get single wallet with all its details, right now it's time to start implementing adding and updating. We will start first by just implementing the little function that's existing in the Cosmos DB repository for the wallets, which is adding an item to the to the database. And we'll see how that going to work in another session. So basically, all you have to do is to go to the iWallets repository over here which is existing in the server.data interfaces and we are available here and I'm going to it's, it's not going to return anything and we are going to say create async and it will take a wallet as an object so this is all what it does or uh, sorry all what we have to add over here right now let's go to the implementation of that class which is here or you can find it over here and we should implement that method so I will have public async task create async and in this create async we will pass wallet something like that very straightforward and right now uh, first we need to check if this one is null to throw an exception argument null exception name of wallet so the other thing is we need the container db the container uh, database name and the container name i actually already have them as a as a variables over here or what can i do is instead of doing that every time i can basically put this in the constructor and do some manipulation but it's okay we are going to we're going to modify that so right now we have this container and all we have to do is to add something for the container so we are going to say var result look at that uh, github copilot already has written that for me but i'll continue to write it myself container dot create item async as you can see and you have to pass first the item which is the wallet and then you have to pass the partition key. Partition key is basically in case you want to uh, pass the, the... We already defined that on the level... Sorry. We already defined that on the level of the database. Uh, but also you can define it here from the SDK by passing the partition key value, which is the value of... Uh, which is the value of the, of the user ID. In our case so this is how you can pass it if you want to pass it from the code or if but uh, cosmos db will take it by default from uh, from within the database so uh, basically this is all that you have to do it's it's, uh, it's very simple this is how you insert an item to the database uh, nothing else to be done uh, in the result over here you can have uh, the check the status code how it was and how it went this like if it actually worked or not and stuff like that so but basically all the logic that to handle this kind of things is going to be existing in the azure function so for for this one it's going to be um, we will just call the add because the kind of validation to make sure that this one is working we are going to do that actually in the in the azure function itself but this one this is just the reboot that's going to communicate directly to our database and we don't need to do anything more so I, I will keep this session very simple uh, this is all we have to do the next one we are going to implement the update and after that we are going to create the azure function to to get this to, to test that and make sure that everything is working so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one